Hi, welcome to the fourth part of the Spurge housing in Siemens NX. So you might have noticed there could be a problem here because I did this solid at last. Now in order to fix that I want to hide those solids and then bring back some of them. So that would be possible with the show command. So go for show and I can select this body here and not this one but that one here and this one here. Okay, just to control it. So I could add the fillets here possibly then unite this body with that body but before the subtraction. So maybe hide this one as well. Like that. Now let's add some fillets, edge plans on this edge, two millimeter. Apply and that edge here should be five millimeter. And okay. Now I want to go before the subtraction and those ribs. So that would be before this one here. Now I want to move all of these elements before that subtract. So let's select the extrude, those edge plans, right click and reorder before. So search for the subtract. The subtract would be here and confirm. Yeah. And let's make this edge plant the current feature, like that. So it looks like this. So it's not, that's not subtracted. What I have to do now, I have to unite this one with that one. And that would be easily done by, yeah, if I go for the extrude, I should uh, unite the edge plant here that would be this body, with that one here. So let's go for Unite and select this one and select that one, the complete one. And I don't want to keep the target, I don't want to keep the tool and confirm. Looks like that. And then if I subtract this one from that one, that should maybe work. So let's go for Subtract, make it the current feature. Yes, this looks good. So I should go all the way down and that's great. I will have to fix this problem in all the other programs except for AutoCAD because in AutoCAD I did it in a different way already. So at the top of that Spurky housing is sort of a handle. Now I want to do that handle. So let's hide those solids here and bring back the one I need and that. Let's go for show. And I want to use this solid here, that one. And confirm. Next sketch on the right plane. So go for a sketch on the right plane here. And confirm. And now I want to bring in some of those faces, this one, that one, and this one, with an intersection curve. So go for intersection, curve, use single face, and I want to bring in this face, that face, and this one. And it would be nice, I could join the curves, but it would be nice to make it, yeah, just for construction, not possible, so let's go for OK and select it and make it for construction purposes only. Nope. Happens yeah, like that. Now, I will need a circle with diameter 700 and then another one with diameter 690. Now let's go for a circle. Let's draw it over here. 
make sure you don't snap onto something so that would be 700 and right here in the middle should be another one with 600 right there so let's go for 600 and put it right there and okay not 600 by 690 sorry my fault this should be 690 so let's hope it can be selected 690 okay that's more like it now that center point should be on that axis here and let's move it down a little bit this should be tangent to that plane here so let's bring in that plane with include so this one here so go for include select it and confirm like that and now this circle and that line should be tangent great so the limitation of those arcs are made by circles so go for a circle and diameter should be 14 another one over here and this should be 14 as well let's just confirm that here okay now both should be for construction only this one here that one here and this circle should be tangent to this circle and that arc so let's select it like that go for tangency select it maybe first this one then that one again tangency nice same over here tangency and another tangency up there now I could trim this one here nice and now I need a line which goes through the center of this point here so let's go for a line and make sure yeah sorry it should start right here like this and then should go up there and of course that center point here should be here on that line as well yes let's go for it and now I can trim here as well so go for the trim not yet I will have to do the same on the other side I could mirror this uh, yeah, let's draw another line from this point here up there don't snap uh, kind of hard to do so let's press our alt key put it maybe here and now put this point here again on that line okay and now I can trim so go for the trim I want to trim this here, this here, and that one, and of course, this one, that one, this one, and that one here. Okay. So it's not completely defined, but it would work so maybe i could add an angle and the symmetry maybe I go for a symmetry so let's make it symmet symmetrical so this one here this one and that one should be symmetric to this one here and maybe i lost the concentricity as well that happens let's take a look if i move this can I move that not really so what's missing did I lose the no dimensions here so that should not be possible to move 
Oh yeah, that's problem I lost that constraint. So, and this should be of course trimmed as well. So let's trim this kind kind of uh, very time consuming. Okay, and I'll put that center here again on that line. Okay, and that did the trick over here. And same over there. Don't miss this one here. So trim that one. And then put that center point here. It's symmetric. That should, should be, yeah, it's fully defined, of course. Now, leave that sketch. Now I want to make an extrude. Symmetric, 5 mm to both sides, so it's 10 altogether. So let's go for an extrude with that sketch. Yes. And I could, let's take, check it out. I could unite it with that solid. Yeah. So it should be symmetric. It should be 5 mm to both sides. And then go for unite and unite it with this solid here and confirm. Yes, looks great. And now I want to add, I could have done this before, maybe I should have done this before, but I want to use a neutral face and the neutral face would be maybe this here and add a draft. Let's see if it works. So that extrude is too small, this should be 10 millimeters. So let's edit this one, this should be 10 millimeters, symmetric, confirm. Now we will need two edge blends, 7 millimeter, on this edge here and on the other side as well. this one here and confirm let's hide that sketch this one and I will need a composite curve I need that edge here as a curve so go for extract geometry go for tangent curves yes composite curve yes associative yes like that and of course I could add this one as well and confirm then I will need a sketch on the right plane I suppose so go for another sketch no it's the front plane sorry yeah and confirm and I will need the intersection point of the composite curve, which is now on this side, I suppose. Yeah, with the sketch plane, go for intersection point, confirm. And then I will need sort of a triangle at this intersection point. So go for profile, let's draw it like that, maybe. Okay. So. I need not really a triangle like that. So I need just that angle over here. And let's make it, yeah. Let's go for this one here. If I go for this one and add, no. So this axis and that, that angle here should be 10 degrees. Okay, and this could be much higher. That's not fully defined, but that's okay. Now this has to move along that curve here, so that would be a sort of a swept. So, let's see, go for surface, let's go for swept. We do have similar commands where it would be a sweep along guide, a variational sweep that should do it as well, sweep along guide. So the curve is the profile. The guide would be 
the composite curve, that would be this curve here. And I want to go for a solid, cannot knit lateral faces to sheet body. I don't want a sheet body. Oh, there are offsets. I don't need offsets. So go for zero. That's from the last. That's interesting. Because I cannot put it anywhere on the curve. Not possible with this one. So let's cancel this out and go for a swept. So the profile would be this one here. And the guide curve would be that composite curve as before. Now, the section location is anywhere along guide, that's okay. Orientation is fixed. That might be wrong. So let's see, can we go to face normals? Can we go to vector direction? Fixed? Is that okay? I suppose that's okay. No scaling, it should be constant. Yes, let's go for OK. Then I could mirror that one. So go for mirror geometry. Mirror geometry. OK, and this one here. The plane would be, of course, the YZ plane. Yes, and confirm. And now I want to subtract those two solids from this solid. So go for subtract, select this one. I don't want to keep the target, I don't want to keep the tool, and the tools are this one and that one. Let's see if this works. Well, that looks quite nice. Yep. Yeah. Looks very similar. So hopefully it's correct. And that's it for today. So I hope this was helpful. Hope you liked it. If you did like it, please give it a like or leave a comment. If you want to see more, please give it a like or leave a comment. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel. That would really help. You could follow me also on GrabCat, especially LinkedIn, Facebook, and many more. Maybe just show those solids at the end. So thanks for watching. See you to the next one. Bye-bye.